Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. Boy, that sun is bright and blinding. It is. Boy, just the right, wrong angle there. Um, rather than another fun episode of not getting anything accomplished, <laughs> am I running? Yeah. I decided to just let it run for a while. Ran it through that winter from the last time saw you guys and got a couple of more houses in over here got some more land cleared and some houses going over here this one's being built right now this one went in did a lot of rebalancing worked those new people into the economy and things are actually running pretty good right now before i go any further kathra where <laughs> you mentioned in your comment the crossroads near the the town hall where three roads intersect in in a triangle well, I see there, 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 there. <laughs> okay, be a little more specific, thank you. Anyway, back to our normally uh, scheduled programming. Um, so we got the two new houses in here, and I don't see any reason why I can't kick this speed up a bit. Kick the volume up a little bit too. Love the music in this game. So a comment came in suggesting that I set aside some of the market stalls to stock only items that are non-perishable. Then in those particular stalls, I can enable seasonal hiring and kick them out for sowing and harvesting. I thought, okay, that works. And we'll keep somebody here trying to get rid of this garlic before it goes bad. Um, otherwise, I've just had one person over in here just maintaining firewood basically for for this guy um, did have lots of help this last planting season so I was able to get charcoal going in that one uh, this one is getting close to being loaded and ready to go and this one I think has already been emptied so that's the music did not turn up as much as I thought there we go we are into May so June and July we're gonna have three uh, different crops of of uh, fruit trees growing this time so I want to make sure all three of them say July and two and apply to all it took two workers to pull it off last time though we got a late start so one may possibly do it and it may be that that's what's gonna happen when there aren't enough workers and they're just gonna wipe this one out then move over wipe this out move over wipe this one out we'll see um, I noticed last year that they did not fill these up again. Apparently they realized there's nowhere to put it. So they stopped, or we just didn't have any laborers available. I expected to see three of these loaded and this guy loaded, and that didn't happen, but that could have been it. Um, we've got some sales coming and going. Um, so last time with, oh, I was playing with Belaclia. And in fact, you're still red. Why are you still red? Because we still have one um, ongoing sale happening there. But Dracachi just came in. And I had sold off about 150 value and, and bought about 150. So balanced is out pretty good. So when this last sale comes through um, of... 150 oh I bought all the stone in exchange for all the things that I sold that's what it is don't know where you're at you're probably the one sitting right there waiting for somebody do you didn't hear and there you are um, boom 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 there you are okay um, do I want a fourth person down here thin that person out I wish the manager would get out there and get off his butt and put something in a cart once in a while I tell ya these managers. <laughs> um, what was I saying? So I didn't affect the the budget that much. We're going to spend 150, so we're somewhere around 600. And most of this time, I've been running it with a one dollar land tax instead of 75 cents. I think this is our balance point right here. Um, wealth tax just keeps shearing off that that top end over the top of 80 population there's only a few of them in there that are that are doing really good probably the family that has five workers yeah they're probably doing really good um as we start to get houses later that have 
uh, no yards, no land around them, then we're probably going to want to kick up the village house rent a little bit and then take the land tax down to make up for it. So that those that are bringing in lots of paychecks and don't have anything to spend it on can can uh, contribute a little bit more without penalizing those who have to take care of their own land in order to uh, to do what they do. So I think that's working out pretty good. Our poor family over here, the village house done, and I want to get to that trader, the Zayets. I call them, maybe that's pronounced differently. You are in the $40 range. So even at $1 per certain square footage per land tax is still working well for you with what you're able to sell and what you're bringing in. So that's I think that is a good number for us now. Took a while to get there. Um, let's take care of this real quick. You guys are buying shoes. There's 500 available usually fills up by the time that we uh, court you know assume we can buy leather by the time another sale comes in so sell you buckwheat charcoal um, not much sitting in stock right now let's probably skip the charcoal uh, there is a lot in the system at the moment did get a lot of help and got two out of three completely filled and burnt so Okay, sure. Let's let's do that last though. Chicken eggs. We've got 86 in stock down here. There's 16 out in the town. Sure, they will go bad eventually. So let's go ahead and sell them as they come in. So deal on that one. Uh, sunflower oil. There's 500 ready to go. Deal. Clothes. Let's let that build up a little more. Make it worth it. Uh, honey, nope, apples, these expire. If we do get them down here, then let's uh, let's sell them. Though I don't think I'm calling for them right now. I'll check that. So I three out of five, so I do have rooms. So let's go back to charcoal and go ahead and do the $7.99. And get that coming. It's not much, but it all adds up. Deal. So that is an income of $150, $190, around $200. So if we limit ourselves, and that's if we do, it doesn't necessarily work that way because not everyone offers the same thing. So sometimes you just have to grab it while you can. But let's get a, at least a thousand leather. What does that cost us? 250. Ouch. What did I say? 200? Okay. Let's do leather last. Anything else that's super important? Um, no. Iron salt and leather where are we really at and it was brought up that time that i was trying to figure out how many people were available to take jobs and what the heck is six percent of and it was brought up just check right there there you go there's nobody looking for a job but that did say unemployment six percent okay so one is delayed behind the other. Right now, looking for job zero, zero. Yeah, okay, well, yeah, something like that. Anyway, I went over here to check resources, right in there. So salt is down there, 400. Iron doesn't really mean anything, but well, I guess it does, there's 700. They're gonna be stocked, but that's what's sitting in this place, right there. Okay, and leather should be pretty much nothing. 380 where are you at over here you're sitting right there and you're slowly making your way into there let's add to your numbers you're a good a good source of income and there's lots of leather is there lots of textile before I say the same thing there you got 50 sitting in here uh, textile nothing there there's 10 accidentally sitting there 
and we are making it with hemp and flax. I got rid of the person running the warehouse over here. I'm having a little hard time reasoning through warehouses right now. It's been suggested that we get a warehouse in for firewood, for example, and start loading it up and just you know building a stockpile of it. If I'm going to pay her 12 months out of the year to go and get flax and hemp and well, leather and what have you, why not just enable a laborer to, in a one-time shot, go grab a cart and bring a whole bunch up here and be done, rather than hire this person for 12 months? That makes sense? This person's sitting there, they're going to maintain a little bit, but it only comes in once in a while. Later, when there's a robust economy and there's stuff being produced all the time, then maybe so, but... It just seems like a better use of labor to have one person floating around when, of course, we have a new a new family settling in town. Okay, we got a new person <laughs> floating around. Okay, bring the hemp over there, and then let's bring the leather over here, and then let's bring the whatever over there. And So maybe not using the warehouses so much and just bring them directly into the business. I mean, there's, there's 5,000 storage capacity here. Let's... Bring it all in, 2,000 and 2,000. Uh, what's being brought into here? 500 each. Let's make that... There should be no reason why they can't be 1,000 each. That leaves 2,000 for the clothes, and we're never going to see 2,000 clothes sitting in here. I, it'd be nice if there was a time when we would. Um, same thing here. Capacity of 5,000. Let's leave us room for 3,000 leather. Sure. And a laborer that can occasionally go and get it. Well, by hand or cart. I guess doesn't really matter in that sense if there's no cart available. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of waffling back and forth as to how best to do this. Hmm. So this one, at the very least, I shut down. Um, they can still go in and grab it. I confirmed that over here. I shut this person down for a month, and they were still going in there grabbing the, uh, the firewood that I've since kicked out. We always have so much firewood in the system. There's never a time when there isn't too much firewood in the system. So I don't see the need right now, this size of a town, to store anymore. I just don't. But even moving say a warehouse full of lumber down to this area so that they can build this which is going to take 41,000 lumber we can put two warehouses down here hire two people and just keep that thing full of 10,000 lumber each in preparation for big jobs down here or we can not hire those two people and the builders would have brought their own cartloads full anyway when they needed it I don't know I'm just um, to me, it's it's feeling redundant. It's feeling like an extra job just to give somebody a wage when there are already people who would be doing that naturally. So it's it's kind of a, I don't know, a, a, you know, a, a balance there. Maybe later as we get more people and, and what have you, we can afford the, the excess like that. But right now, that seems not crucial. So let me know if I am wrong there. Chicken coop is still sitting on lots of grains. I'm I'm going s slow because I'm forgetting that I need to do this. All right, am I done? I am talking myself into buying leather. That's what I'm doing. Um, let's do the 1,000. Let's just do that and deal. So nothing else as far as raw materials go. We're okay on salt. Um, yeah, I'd say we're okay here. All right, so that is done. I can kick the speed back up a little bit. Uh, I was brought up to maybe concentrate more on flax than hemp because the flax will give us what we got here. Sunflower and buckwheat. Okay, well, buckwheat gives us great uh, feed for the, the chickens, but 
Flax gives us materials to make textiles and it gives us seeds to feed the chickens. So you get two things out of one crop there. So yeah, there's some there's some benefit to that. Builders are moving on to this one. Then they're moving on to this one. That gives us four new houses up here. Then I've been, I've been watching them as they start a new job. They, they just empty all the carts because I've got actually a full roster of builders now. That's why I uh, really moved things around. But I was able to actually fill up this guy to all five as well. And three. And one. I don't know where all the guys came from. There were a lot of boys. That's what it was. There were a lot of boys that um, were teenagers helping out as laborers. And all of a sudden, I think the labor force just exploded. So we may be doing pretty good now, labor-wise. Um, during that that winter that I just ran it, I decided to put one person in the boatyard every March. And in March, while these guys are not hired and they're off doing their things, in March, let's see, you're still here. Let's do more salt. Let's just do it. Yeah, this is working now. This is working really good. And I had this set too low. I hit set it down to 50 thinking that would give them the batch size of 50. I did that in my play test, and just by coincidence, this is a 50, and that was a 50. So I thought, oh, okay, you know, I don't want batch sizes of 200. We may not bring in 200, and then they'll just sit there and rot. So let's take it down to a number that would work. Didn't realize that that was actually a limiter to the entire operation, so they're only doing 150 and nothing more. So I kicked that up to 500 so we can have these just constantly running and this is what I was remembering and I was searching for when I was trying to figure out why you know why they weren't doing anything but yeah I, I remember this being a very cluttered menu bar here but let's go ahead and get some salt in just to do it and that way there's no excuse for running out salt let's just what's 500 cost us 50 we'll do it all right, deal. So we're going to be at 550 after all this, after all the balancing is done with all these loads coming and going. Okay, but that worked out well. One one person in here for one month, he went over, got all the boats and and, main, and preventative maintenance of them, and got them all up again. Then he then he left. These guys came in. They're using all three boats, and everything's working. So what else has happened here? We're into May. This is okay. This isn't going to hire till July. I'm kind of walking through everything. Um, dried fish is coming in and they're gone so I can't verify that they didn't take dry fish um, dry fish in the system where are you I see fish I only see fish because we must not be actually storing it anywhere so they're just grabbing directly from here and there aren't any so then they're going over here, 150. We're calling for 400. Okay, so as fast as they're making it, it's going into here. Though it should sit here for a little while, which gives them a chance to walk over and grab some. And where are you? You're not in the system over here anymore. Let's throw you in. So dried fish. Ah, uh, there you are. Okay, run it for a little bit. Does it pop? No, but you'll probably grab onto the first batch that finishes down here, right there, and start bringing that up. Okay, so what else did I do in between? So we've got just the two fields right now. It's just how it timed out. We got two fallows. Um, and that's fine. It's, it's going to be every third year, there's going to be two. There's no way around that when you've got four fields, except for when the plowing begins. Then I might be able to stretch these into four per cycle with plowing adding a little in between each one. And then we can stagger a true, you know, one fallow field every year all the way through. Um, and even that's not going to remain because soon I'm going to combine this and combine this into two big fields and find somewhere else to put two more big fields. Yeah. Um, a comment just came in before I started filming or re recording and it made a lot of sense. They, there's probably, there is likely, and I think we've demonstrated it, a distance issue with being able to collect to fill these guys from the granaries. So 
it worked out really well when we started this thing to build a community right up in here and we put the granaries right here and put the market right here but that now is defeating distance wise from these guys needing to get from the same granaries and that's caused all of the the turmoil of the granary wars <laughs> <laughs> but without it, I mean, you have no drama. So you got to have some granary wars in a series like this to give you some reason to tune in. But it would be more efficient to use this space right here to move, relocate these three buildings a little bit lower so these guys can grab. And if we do good over here, these guys can grab, possibly. I guess the market could be at this end. They should reach. That would hopefully reach these guys obviously will reach we might be able to solve a lot of this problem by just moving three buildings so I think that might be our most viable solution here and where I was about to say right there here would be even more ideal will they build on that I don't know that's well our steepest is over here that is possible um, you're in here. Small granary will build. And big granary. Um, what am I looking at right there? You, yeah, you will build. So maybe that is our future plan. Now you're going to be in there. Hmm. I kind of like this. Now, I like that too, but I also like the cows being there. So where would the cows look the best? function the best we got water right here but you know you can you can throw another well in over here somewhere and do that too so that's not a limiter um cow shed so we need the cow shed then eventually we're going to get the slaughterhouse and tannery they're up in there and we'll see cows being led through town to their to their demise but we've also got a dairy to think about and that would probably best be next to the cow shed and the fields where they're going to be uh, housed as, as far as, as vacant fields to uh, let them roam during the summers. Um, so cow shed and dairy. Eventually, no, I can't think of any reason why the pigs or sheep would need to be near these guys. Now, the sheep, I'm pretty sure, can be allowed to graze in a fallow field just like the cow shed. Or the cows. Which would then give good justification for a second farm and a second series of cycles that allows a fallow field. And the sheep would be then centered around that one. And that might be what is going to happen over here. As well as a small community to support it. So maybe out in here is going to be more... Boy, there's so much farming room over here. There is. I want to get across for industry, but that doesn't necessarily mean there's going to be really good farming out here. It's going to be kind of cluttered and busy. Hmm. Unless we kick the next farm into this area, though this land was really bad. This was not good, rich soil. We demonstrated that. That yield was horrible. I don't think it was all because of the timing either. I have, I mean, a lot of the, the reeds showed through like weeds. So I have a feeling that's trying to tell me that this intentionally is bad soil. Just like putting a well over here will give you bad water. I don't know if you've ever noticed or seen that. But if we were to pop a well down in here, it would say it's unfit for human consumption. Certain distance from the, I guess, polluted river? I don't know, I'm not used to that. I'm from the uh, Pacific Northwest of the United States, and our, our rivers run crystal clear. I've lived out in the middle of the country where all the rivers are muddy, and it's, it's, it, that was strange. Our rivers are, are, you can see the bottom. You can see the fish, you can see the rocks, you can see the plants underneath. Our rivers are crystal clear, and, and wells right next to the river are usually pretty safe um, you know creeks and what have you um, but water near too near to the river over here is polluted is I don't know we'll, we'll say Girardia or something is in there but um, the water cannot be used too close to the shoreline it's possible that farm fields will not function as well as up here 
too close to shorelines, at least too close to, to the the different, you know, you can, the, the change in here, or that there's more mud, there's more weeds, there's more reeds. So whether or not this works as a good farmland, or it's over here, I'm not sure, as a second round of farms. Now the village house is complete. Yeah, I'll just keep jabbering away while they just build houses like nuts here and and really fill up our economy so if we have been adding more like i think we should be sitting pretty good we're starting to doesn't indicate in fact let's do this we still have nobody looking for jobs so lots of open vacancies still which are where i honestly don't know of any I mean, you're full. Um, you're full. You're not a vacancy. Oh, why does this keep going away? Oh, I had reset that. We have nothing to thresh. So I gave her the time in between sowing and, and harvesting off. I let her thresh through the winter. Yeah, that was enough time for one person to get everything threshed. Okay, so she doesn't need to be here. You are building up. It never shows laborers in the process, though. Just kind of find them afterward. Where's the other one? Right over here. You are... So we still don't have enough laborers. There's one working on it. What if I only said laborer by cart here? Maybe that needs to be a thing. So that we're not carrying them one at a time. You're bringing charcoal in. I could actually see a bucket of charcoal there. Cool. Now that was being brought from here. So again, we're we're hauling a whole bunch of charcoal to here. That person, well, theoretically, that person could have just gone here and then back and been done, without having to haul the same thing over to here and then haul the same thing back over here. Except we haven't had a great track record of actually ever having any right there. <laughs> it's there because he needs it. Doesn't mean it's ever going to be there. It may be sitting over here, and he still has to make the long walk. But still, it just seems redundant to fill this up and then take it right back out across the whole way again to use it. So I'm, I'm really having trouble with hiring these ladies for warehouses instead of just temporary workers to bring it over to where they're actually being used, and then the job's done. So... Yeah, I'm I'm still wrestling with that one. Um, speed up. We're in the 900 range, but that means that we've just got a bunch of trade still. Yeah, there's 300 going out. So there's 600, but then there's 200 going back in. Now there's 250. There's yeah, we're actually doing pretty good right now. Hmm. Okay. So trading is, is coming out positive, net positive at the moment. Um, so we are into June. You guys are salting. New families moved in. Salting like crazy. Bringing it in. We're not rotting. Um, some are grabbing fish to sell in markets. Well just got used. We're maintaining. Okay. I mean, it's, it's all starting to flow again. And we have workers in place, thankfully. I guess let's kick in. Well, the laborers are doing all the hauling now. So that these guys can do their own work. Though if I do park somebody else in here, one of the laborers, the laborers can't load the wagons. So that's a tough balance there. And if three of them are all starting their break right as a wagon pulls in and it's happened before mm. so that one's kind of tough um okay i was in the middle of something what were we talking about before i went squirrel and and yeah uh, i was out of here um i don't know okay how we doing we're still working two people we're still making textile you still have Plenty of textile available. All right, let's fire off one more. Um, you two are making boots as fast as you can. And I had to increase the amount of boots in here because she had hit 500 maxed out. So we're calling for or shoes, calling for the 500 rat two now. Okay, so it is coming in about as fast as we get a new trader. 
do we have shoes and warm clothes and all this stuff over here yet? We now have enough people to run these jobs. So, actually, I don't see any of any of those down here. Okay, you get them. So, if I re did that, populate warm clothes, all right. Now, fish will rot, so pause. Fish should be in another stall in place of sunflower oil, I would say. Yeah. Let's do that. So, um, fish are going to be in here. You're going to be fish. Because that rots. This one is not going to get fish. It's going to get sunflower oil. So this could be another one that could be shut down for two months out of the year. And nothing will spoil in the process. So clothes and what was the other one? Shoes. Um, yeah, shoes, not boots. They look like boots to me, but that works. Okay, hire somebody in here. Hopefully it is a local. Just before I do that, any locals not hired at the moment. Small granary, market stall, and unemployed. Perfect. You get the job. So that will fill up with things that these folks need and start to grab it as we buy it. Um, what else? I am, what, about a half hour into this. We are in June. July, that's going to happen. All three of them should. And there aren't any, hmm, there really aren't any women looking for jobs yet. But there could be children. And that is only laborer? No, that's worker. Okay. Now, we could do something like kick the wages up quite a bit here and see if people will leave their job for this one month, do this, and then go back to their old job. Apply to all. Let's make that our experiment of this episode. Okay. Um, so what else is happening? Still only one resident in our local cemetery. I did plant a lot more fruit trees out here. And we the other fruit trees are actually growing right now. We got some apples and we got some apricots. So what do the cherries look like? Do you say a name? You're an apple. You are a cherry. Okay. So and they got a cherry in their own yard. So I'm guessing these are the only ones they're going to make dried fruit out of and raspberries. It looks like raspberries. Are those raspberries? I know we have raspberries over here. Yeah, that's the same one. So I don't know if they will go out and has been born. Okay. Um, if they will take the fruit off the trees out here. I lost them. They're over here. And make something with them. Or they just... Who will pick these? The house next to it? Just on their way home when they're taking a break? I wonder how the game determines... Or that particular fruit lands. Um, school is something else I wanted to get going again soon. In fact, we could do that one next. This house is about to finish. Oh, man. I Somehow I managed to click that tiny little pause button right there. And I just sent... Oh, good. They continued. They ignored me. Whew. I thought I just lost a week's labor there. All right. Get this one finished. I believe the... The school has all the materials already in place. Oh, that's something else, too. All right, so we need workers here. But this over here, we now have enough stone to pull this off. I need to get this going again, at the very least, just to get all the stone out of the, uh, the trader. So let's... Where are you? What is lit up here? There you are. I can barely see the little tiny yellow dots in the corners. You go in next, just to get everything moved over here. Maybe we'll get it built. In fact, we probably will, so I can see what this area looks like, so I know what to build around it. Okay, now, somebody did hire here, one, did hire here, and so at the 130, we had nobody available uh, right there. We still don't, but these two still managed to do it. Okay, so we'll see. We'll let a, another week go by, then we may just have to force this to happen. Or maybe this is when I need to use my local help. That's an idea. 
So you, I don't know if I even set you. You didn't even get a worker. Okay, so you could be seasonal and not in July and not in March instead of August. March and July. So that is you as well. And you are March and July. So now you're available. And there's, I think, two up in here that I was able to do that with. You can be March and July. And you? Yeah. Same thing. So that frees up some ladies to jump over here. And hopefully two lands in one of them. So that one gets finished sooner. And then they just move over. At 130% of wages, they'll probably spend the whole month of July taking advantage of that. Okay. Unfortunately, these ladies are all going to take their long breaks. You are small, small, uh, unemployed. So you are going to... Unemployed. Their health. Health is low. Okay. What do we know about health? And why are you walking over here? But it says you're unemployed. Harvesting fruit, orchard, orchard. So it didn't it didn't refresh real time. So health. It doesn't actually say anywhere that I've ever read. Let's pop into here. Uh, supply options, seasonal hiring, shelf life, reporting bugs, illnesses, and injuries. Workers in hazardous places can get work-related injuries. The injured workers can't work during recovering. Having a barber surgery in town can drastically reduce recovery time. So that's if we get the mine going before we get the, the, uh, the surgery up and going, which takes bricks and we're not ready to build that. Um, in spring and autumn, there's a risk of flu. Sick people can spread the disease to their relatives or co-workers. Chances of recovery depend on general health levels. You can see the general health of a citizen's pro in a citizen's properties panel. It depends on food quality, living and working conditions, diseases. Buildings with smoke emissions like, oh, there we go. There's finally the list. Charcoal, smell trees, lime kilns. Okay. Have detrimental effects on, of, on health if located near houses. Okay, so the lime kiln we don't have yet. The smeltery we don't have yet. Just the charcoal piles. So the tannery doesn't actually affect the game yet. That's more of a, you know, of, of putting your own interests into it. Would you want to live next to one of those? But it doesn't seem to be a thing for them, at least not health-wise. Um, so Durkachi. So we were seeing what was going on here. Two people, one person, one person. This should finish the fastest, and it almost is. And both of these should go and fill in over here. I want to wait and see that happen, then we'll go talk to Dracachi. So we are running at two. The ladies are uh, taking a rest and going to work. So she will probably be enough to finish those last ones. And they should both transfer into here, unless that's already happened. Nope, we're still waiting. All right, you've come to work. And you got to go check in. Then you're going to not. You don't actually pick it off the tree. Fascinating. I thought I saw them out here. I guess I didn't. So they're in there pulling levers. <laughs> okay. Now I have to manually turn them off. Oh, that's right. Yeah, waiting for 24. That happened. You came to work. You're both at work. And there's nothing more happening under the hood here. Okay, so I've got to manually turn you off this time to get you both into here. And we've got the one week wait. But we'll get it done. Then I'll turn that back on. Later, as more and more houses get done, then we won't have to manually do any of that. But if I want to get these finished in time, there's still two-thirds of this one to go. Then, yeah, we'll just we'll just play with that. Okay, so that is a thing. Durkachi. There. Okay, we've got 
Still two guys in the system. See, I think a bunch of boys grew up. Um, it doesn't actually... 41 years old. Yeah, I'd have to do a lot of chasing you guys down to, to make those kind of guesses. 34. Um, world map. You guys. Hello. Oh, you are there. I was waiting for something to pop in over here. We've got 17 days left running at one speed. Salt we just took care of. Um, leather we just took care of. Iron, we are in good shape. Is this the same place? No. I don't remember who we dealt with last. It might have been. I, this just feels like the exact same list I just read through. Um, yeah. So, shoes for sale. Let's do 400. And deal. Buckwheat we don't have. Charcoal. We'll keep this in moderation let's just sell them a thousand right now we're not hurting so deal chicken eggs there's another 87 in stock we did get those out of the system right cancel so there's nobody else with active deals waiting okay alrighty so those chicken eggs did make it down in this exact same amount that we sold last time 87 deal and two more things available to us so or I wait for the first one to arrive though that may take more than 15 days that's possible um, shoes where was I chicken eggs sunflower oil there's 500 so that needs to be one of the first ones done it's a good chunk and I need to make sure it's one of our five deal and clothing is one of the others not much there this time so what else do we have honey nope apples uh yeah so let's think about apples and nope don't have any of that um so we're not buying anything not selling anything apples we is there anything here we don't need in the list i don't want to build another trader right now eventually that might be a thing so we get 16 choices instead of eight so flour has been sitting here you guys don't buy flour Flower is not a thing with you. No, that's that is Marefa. Okay. So is there anything that I can say is not that important? And I don't think there is. We're making all of these to sell. We're actually looking at needing another trader soon. Wow. That is something else. Okay. I was just picturing two traders over here with lots and lots of traffic coming through. But it might also be kind of fun to watch the, the, the carts coming in to different places around the map. Hmm. Well, I guess we're going with this right now. I've got, I've got nowhere to sell apples unless I get this guy going. Okay, that just might have pushed up the priority a little bit on that one. Let's move you in as well. We're right now working on the primary school. We got quite a few houses in. So one, two. Three, four, five, six. Six. More families came in. And that is helping out a lot. Um, we're just about to finish July. We've got only one in here and only one in here still. What happened there? What happened there? How do I get these to complete before we run out of that last week? Um, I guess for the moment we just do this and there will be a time later when that's not necessary. But I need to get these two spaces filled. I do. Okay, so but I've got nowhere to sell the apples. So, yeah, that's that trader. And I'm pretty sure those other two cities buy a lot more fruits and vegetables than these three do. That's kind of a, a bonus of getting that, that second one going. Okay, so that will have to be it for that. You guys are all employed. What else are we kind of working on? Primary school, that was it. And there's a big old tree right in the way. Yeah, okay, that's got to go. That's That's got to go. All right, I want to be able to see this school. So you are here? 
Forestry, yep. Yeah. Right there, guys, can you take... And will they take these out? I don't know. Will they... Is there another one in there? There is. Let's do all three and I'll plant ornamentals in this area. Okay. Will they take these when there are jobs queued up to be taken down? I don't know what is the higher priority for the game. Anyway, we need to hire a teacher. And when we get into August... Like, this one's pretty important. I can't choose the wages. You are a manager's wage, aren't you? I bet you are. So you're already a bonus of 375. So that should be fine. But this one, you... Okay, we've got... I couldn't choose a man or a woman. I couldn't make any choices here. Okay. Then it is what it is. So we've got space for 10 pupils now. And... Which we have far more than 10 students in town. We could employ several of these. And it would not be a bad idea to do so. It really wouldn't. So... Another one in this area. Another one down in this area. It's probably a distance issue. Another, Eventually another one down there. Okay, so sc another school is a priority. Moving these guys is a priority. Kick the speed back up again. We're done with the trading? We're done with the trading. I've still got a little more time to go. Let's see if we can can't get this guy built so I can see all the buildings in here and kind of better visualize this and then maybe play with the idea of moving these three. So what goes back in here then? It doesn't have to be a community property. In fact, I could put one of these stalls somewhere over here and the other stall would just fire this one up and take these two stalls out. And another fence across with a gate opening into something. So what goes in this area? Brickworks goes in here. And of course our, our pits will all land in here. Clay and sand. Um, industry wise what makes sense? Or do I just stick another house in? So let me know your thoughts there. Um, that would sure be a Maybe that's the mayor's house. Ooh. We could design a house and a yard and just manually put everything in with a nice fence. And that is the, that's where the mayor lives. Kind of like that. Except when this mayor dies, the next mayor is going to be someone who's already in town. And I'm going to have to evict that family somehow to make, you know, to, to move that into the new mayor into the mansion. Hmm, that sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> okay, did we do it? We're in August, and I probably have no way of knowing if we did it. Probably. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff in there. Yeah. And how quickly is it going to rot? That's why I wanted just a small um, orchard, and I'm kind of wondering if, I, if already this is too big of an orchard. I don't know. We're, we're not going to have the population to eat it. Of course, when we get the other trader going, they might buy those. It's possible. I know they bought apples, and I know they bought carrots. I saw that once. So, okay then. Our August is happening. Everybody has dropped out, except for one builder, to kind of maintain whatever project was going on. I thought that would be wise. But this would be a good time to then get... I see we've got charcoal going over here. Whether that was as a result... Because we have been almost a week in. Um, there, there won't be much in the way of harvesting. They're going to just mow through this real quick. There's, the fields are small. There's only two of them this time. So they'll get a lot of other stuff done. And that's what I noticed last spring. By turning the laborers back on to places like these... Um this one yeah they then went through and stocked up all these buildings i mean it was it was crazy so sure i guess that would work they brought all of the 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 sunflower over they so maybe that truly is a thing when we do the seasonal hiring 
Um, you already are, and you're still sitting fine for for chicken feed. What else would benefit from that? Markets would. I mean, these guys, uh, granaries, they would. Hmm. I suppose could just pop that in and see what happens. But there's going to be a lot of extra people for one month. Probably should capitalize on that. Dirkachi's back again? And even here, laborers, so we can bring a bunch of salt down. And maybe get rid of some fish? Don't know. So in that case, yeah, you're turned on as well. Um, could even do right here. They could stock up the needed lumber so that he can just immediately go to work next spring. Okay. Uh, laborers aren't going to help in here, and it's not even an option. Um, how are we doing here? So nobody is doing... Now, I did I increase these wages? I did, 120. So those are increased. And the... Where is the other one here? Right there? You're in that area somewhere. Hello, where am I? Turn a little further. There we are. Two people are working it already. 120. And the last one over here. I got all of them, right? I probably did. Right there. Apply to all. Our one builder is doing quite a job over here. Foundation is in. Wow. That is quite the uh, quite the project. <laughs> oh, let's see here. One week left of August. So we'll maybe wander through town and see all that get accomplished by the uh, the influx of laborers for one month. But this is quite fascinating. And there he goes to go take a rest. Okay. So, everything has been brought in. What is that? That's a tree that's trying to grow. Okay. And next time we're going to have potatoes and flax and buckwheat. We don't need another round of buckwheat. Okay, so what can take the place of buckwheat? You could be another flax-like thing. Buckwheat is mostly blue with a little green. And... Though we are completely out. That's the only thing it fits. Because we're not plowing yet. Okay, so buckwheat then, well, could be sold if we can get another space available in our trader. Yeah, hate to have to try to seasonally shift those around. I'm likely going to forget. But you guys are still employed. I didn't turn you off for seasonal. No, like you guys. I wanted that flower just to keep going. Okay, uh, Durkachi came and left. I missed them completely. Oops. <laughs> Uh, still, we're, we're sitting at 800 now, and we're doing fine. Okay. And our poor family over here, the Zayets, sitting in that 37 to 40 range. So there's, they're still functioning, and they're going to boost again when they sell their personal crops. So, yep, things are working. Nothing new to add to here. You didn't go and get it. I don't have a worker for just September I fired you guys yeah okay higher higher I had to get that thing done okay anybody else I messed up you guys are employed again that was seasonal these guys I didn't mean to be seasonal so they're not um, okay so you will start pulling those cherries in I don't have any place to sell them do I apples and that's it. So we're getting to where we're almost ready to hire another, uh, yeah, right there, hire another worker. And anything left? Right there, so nothing. These are all going to be, well, the honey won't be. The buckwheat might not either, as far as uh, something that will rot. But that'll be fine. Um, September, so everyone's going back to work. Did you hire? Not yet. May need one more house down here to do that. Which is the next house right there in line. Once we get these other services going. Um, you... Right there. So you still have some things to bring in. The whole team is out here now. We get to see this going before we shut down. Otherwise, 
Let's actually slow it down a little bit. Let's wander a little bit. Nothing else got done there. You got cleaned out and moved. And you are burning. So we got back up there. So you are fully stocked. You are fully stocked. 5,000 and 1,000. You are fully stocked and ready to go. All right, then. That's working. And 200 honey has come in. Okay, speed you back up. What else got done? Um, you have got a bunch of sunflower in. You got 60 textile. You are... Well, you've got some stuff to work with. Um, employed, employed. You are employed. So we still have people doing labor work in place of jumping into jobs. So I had a comment come in if you that if you increase the labor wages, which is here, treasury, labor wages, or if you increase the monthly worker wages, then you can choose which of those two categories will be the highest priority to hire into. And actually, to keep our our town functioning it's almost better to have higher laborer wages but i'm leaving them both neutral because obviously we're, we're seeing right now that some are doing some and you know one and some are doing the other so yeah we're, we're getting a mix of both now that officially says there's nobody looking for a job even though that one person jumped into that labor position so there are people who are not fully hired yet so there should be someone then available to jump into here still has not and that could still be a distance thing okay you have only one person that's why you're angry and we don't have any logs to take down over here so I didn't see any point just keep maintain the 8,000 and the 8,000 and so that we can stock this guy quickly though that is 10,000 though I'm kind of surprised we don't have 10,000 Oh, I guess they've been stealing from it. That's why we have to over 10,000 wood, even though we're calling for eight. Okay, so everything is functioning. This guy is going in. We'll hang around long enough to see that happen. Um, we've got seven guys to choose from. So, and four, five, five are taking a rest out of the seven. What are the odds? Hmm, I guess with trip with walking time too that does increase the odds um, But yeah, you guys probably finish it especially when that wave of five all returns back to work But this I see we've got the chimney in So what do we have here we have an oven there You're built up in here How does this work? I wish I could zoom in more. You look like the entrance right here. <clears throat> so I'm guessing that we build a fire in here, this whole structure heats, creates warmth? Or are we boiling water? I bet you we're boiling water. I don't know. I've heard that there will be two oxen or two horses treading in here. And now we're not allowed to look in at all. <laughs> we should be able to see them walking around though. Yeah, there's something going on here. I can't tell if that is an opening or not, but you are done. And pause. I don't want anybody stocking this yet because we're not, we don't have the, uh, the oxen available. What are we going to stock into here? So we need firewood. Laborers are off, right? Yeah, so nobody's going to deal with this yet. So we need firewood and or charcoal or and charcoal. I don't know. Water. So a well over here would be a wise idea. Hay for the oxen or horses. Wheat and barley. Okay. Is that also for the oxen and or horses? So can I move? I can. So I'm thinking all of this counts as one. And you get to choose which of these you want. And all of that counts as one. We're going to burn firewood, or we're going to burn charcoal, or we're going to make both available. And then we need water. So I'm thinking there's three main ingredients here. That sound right? So when we get cattle going, then we will, and or horses, I don't know, I'll, I'll take a look at both of those chains and see what, uh, what we decide. But right now, this is 
done and until there's a worker nothing is going to be yeah brine so that is salty water no i guess that could kind of be salt no brine is stored to then be dried and turn into salt right sounds right okay then um am i done i'm basically there uh we actually got quite a bit done though again it doesn't really look like it but it's a little by little thing only a few months went by but yeah the town is definitely working much better now than it was a few episodes ago we're getting there thanks for watching folks catch you next time bye bye